In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make these two boundary surfaces as shown here. First, I'll control tab back to the sketch and I'm going to activate boundary surface. I'm just going to zoom in here. So for direction one, I'm going to select each of these curves. I'll zoom out a bit. And then we have a preview of a surface and we would like to control it more with these splines. So I'm going to select direction two and I'm going to add these splines here. And the reason this selection manager pops up is because they're part of the same sketch. So is it saying, is this all you want or do you want to add more? So you're going to need to say, okay. And I went ahead and selected this, so it won't work. So I'll just unselect it, select this, then I'll say, okay. And then I can select this one. And again, say, okay. If I select them both like I previously did, we'll just get the error. And the final curve I want to select, I'm just going to rotate around a little bit, goes across the top here. So I'll select it. Again, I'll say OK. And by leaving this set to global, it says this curve follows it for the whole shape. Because the other options I have are to the next curve, to the next sharp, linear and to the next edge. But we'll leave it to global and we'll say OK. And there's our first boundary surface. Then we're going to zoom in on this end here. We're going to create another boundary surface. And for direction one, we're going to select this curve and then this curve. And then for direction two, we'll select this. And again, because there's multiple entities in this sketch, I'll need to tell it I'm done. Then I'll select this curve and then I'll rotate around and select this curve. Again, I'll tell it I'm done and I'll say OK. I'll go back and look at the isometric view. I'm just going to turn the visibility of these sketches off. And then the next video, we'll look at how to use the freeform feature.